Alright guys, welcome to your second Java program. This program will consist of the user entering a starting amount of money into their bank account and the user can decide whether to deposit or withdraw money from their bank account. Alright guys, to start off with this program, we're going to make a new Java project. And let's just name this Simple Bank. And in here, let's create a new class. Oh, I don't know why that, I think that's there because I just did it, but we're going to right click there and hit new class, or you could go up here and hit file, new class, doesn't matter. Let's just name this bank, and let's include the main method. So, if we just hit control D on that, we don't need it. We also, so first thing we're going to do is make our in, input object, and we can do that with scanner. Or I found a better input um, input object we could use, and that's going to be keyboard reader reader equals new keyboard reader. And to get this actually working, you're going to have to right click on this and go to build path. Right click on simple bank build path, add external archives, and I'll leave a link in the description to get these two, but you're just going to do going to want to do terminal IO and hit open. It probably won't let me do it because yeah, I already did it. But once you've done that, hit import, and now we've got our input. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new variable int money equals zero, and also int choice equals zero. So now we're going to do a money equals, we're going to ask the user to enter um, their starting amount of money. So reader.readInt, and we can just do integers. I mean, we can do doubles, but it doesn't really matter. Read double. Oh, then we'd have to make this double then. Enter starting amount of money. And then, all right, good. So now we go to we we actually let's print out the menu we're gonna make. So one means deposit money. Two will mean withdraw money. And three will quit the program and print the final amount of money. So let's do a while loop while choice is not equal to three then do choice equals reader dot read int And it'll do that. Okay, cool. Or we could, yeah, let's have this in here so it'll do the men menu in there. So let's now make a switch statement of choice. And if choice is one, then we'll do money plus equals. So we're adding money to money plus equals reader dot read double and yes and we're also just going to let's make it so it prints out the current amount of money so current amount of money oh let's do let's do a colon and add a dollar sign so it looks real plus money so now we finished that, and lastly what we're going to want to do is do break, and I'll explain why we need a break in a second. So if the user enters two money, so they're withdrawing, we're going to subtract from the bank money minus equals reader dot read double, and we're going to print out the current amount of money. We can just copy this, and we're also going to add another break. And lastly, 
case 3, the exit one, we're going to print final amount of money plus money. And also another break. So the reason why we need these break statements is because if we didn't, it'd go down the cases as a ladder. So it'd go print, enter the deposit, it'd go it, it the deposit and then it go down to the withdraw and then it print the final amount. So it go down as a ladder, case one, case two, case three. But if we have the breaks, it'll just stop after this these two lines of code. So that's why we have the breaks there. So if we give this a run, see what happens. Enter starting amount of money, a thousand. And I want to deposit, and let's deposit two hundred. Current amount of money, one thousand two hundred. Let's withdraw some money. Let's do five hundred. Current amount of money, seven hundred. Three. Let's exit. Final amount, 700. Okay. So, without us error checking this, it'll go to the negatives, but error checking takes a lot of time, and it's not really that important since someone's not just going to enter dumb amounts of numbers, but let's have it so it does this. Enter deposit amount and enter with draw amount just so it's easier to recognize so enter starting 1000 deposit deposit amount let's do another thousand current amount is 2000 let's withdraw some let's do 2000 that's zero so if we if we withdraw it'll do, let's say 1,000, then it'll go to the negative C, so so I don't, I don't really like error checking because it takes a lot of time and it kind of makes the program a lot bigger, so um, we don't really have to do that because I just want to get how the program works down first and then we can, then we can do that, but um, yeah, this is how the simple banking program works, it's surprisingly only 33 lines once because it's really efficient how we did it. So, um, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave the link in the description to those two jars um, that have keyboard reader. And, yeah, if you weren't going to use keyboard reader, then we can go to scanner, like last program. You can just do scanner, scanner, whatever. So, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Leave comments if you have any requests for programs and